Hi, I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. IVF or in vitro fertilization is today a very convenient and a very easy procedure to conduct. The complications that we initially had decades ago have now been reduced or not there at all. Let's try to understand the procedure of IVF so that if you are contemplating or have been advised IVF, it becomes very easy for you to make this decision after this video. IVF usually begins on the day 2 or day 3 of your period. This is because after a period, your body is calming down, it's getting ready for the next period. It is getting ready for eggs to develop again, to make uh, ovulation possible and if there is a fertilized egg, then your uterus also is getting prepared for pregnancy. So this is a good stage to begin the medications, to begin the assessment in your body to see if the atmosphere inside your body is conducive for IVF. Suppose you have started uh, or have decided to go for IVF on the day 2 of your period. Now on this day, blood tests will be performed. Blood tests basically are uh, looking at your hormone levels such as follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, estrogen, inhibin. All these hormones are giving us an idea about how your body is getting ready for the next period. Is it uh, giving us an intimation that the ovarian reserve is low? Is it telling us that your uterus is not ready for in this cycle? So a lot of information can be gathered from these blood tests they are extremely important in addition to all this information we also try to understand what dose of medications to give you these hormone levels give us an idea that low dose or high dose are necessary for an adequate number of eggs to grow for egg collection in this process however a blood collection is not all that you are going to go through you will also go through something called as ultrasonographic evaluation a probe is inserted into your vagina and uh, we are trying to look at the ovaries and your uterus to understand if there are enough eggs that will respond to the medications that we are going to give so this ultrasound is a very important part not just on this day the day that you begin your treatment but during the treatment also you may have to go through ultrasound scans for about two to three times to understand if you are responding well to the medication if the dose need to be increased or decreased all these things can be assessed by performing an ultrasound evaluation coming to the hormone injections these are nothing but the hormones that are basically released by your brain for the development of a single leg and ovulation etc but because in IVF we are looking at more number of eggs so that we can make more embryos these injections are given in a higher dose these are follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone some growth hormone some adjuvants which will help in proper growth of the eggs that are there in your ovaries not all eggs are collected the eggs that are growing for that particular month only will be made to grow to stimulate and those eggs only will be collected so a lot of people think that in IVF all your eggs will be taken out that's not true the eggs that are growing in that particular cycle only will be collected during your IVF procedure these injections are given as you can see for about 10 to 12 days this is the time during which we also perform ultrasound evaluations and around 10 to 12 days later the eggs will be collected but the most important instruction is to follow the instructions for hormone injections properly. These injections are kept in cold storage. They have to be taken around the same time that you've uh, begun taking them. So follow the instructions very strictly. Like I said, the eggs will be collected around approximately 12 days after the stimulation is being given, the injections are being given. So this is a very easy procedure nowadays. A probe is put into your vagina and through the probe itself, a needle is passed into your ovaries where the eggs are aspirated. So it is not an open surgery where you require stitches, sutures are required or you are required to stay back in the hospital for a few days. This is a very easy procedure where the needle goes directly into your ovaries and the eggs are collected from the follicles as you can see. These eggs are then mixed with your partner's sperms. The mixing of the sperms can be of two types, IVF in vitro fertilization or ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. That day is called as day zero and these eggs which are mixed with sperms are then observed every day for the next three to five days. After five days or maybe three days based on the number of embryos that are formed based on the grading that is the morphology like the quality of the embryo, embryos may be transferred back into your uterus during the same cycle, same period cycle or they may be frozen for a subsequent transfer in next month or whichever month the uterus is ready. So this is basically done so that uh, the uterus is conducive for 
implantation that is the embryo has the best atmosphere for implanting in the uterus if you have been prescribed ivf you have been asked to go for ivf to increase your chance of success and are worried about the procedure the side effects and the complications that may arise you want more information about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you